Hey Highlanders, this is your student bulletin for Wednesday, January 11, 2023. I'm Cream Marine. And I'm Ashley Dinkins. As some of you may know, the UHS Winter Dance Show takes place in the Highlander Auditorium on January 13th and 14th at 7 p.m. The UHS Dance Department and Express team will be performing their show Spirit Dancer, featuring Dance Tech 1 and 2, Advanced Jazz, as well as guest appearances by the UHS Hip Hop team. Tickets are available online at highlanderauditorium.com. Tomorrow, after school in the cafeteria, Link Crew will be hosting a cocoa and cram session to give students the chance to study for finals with free hot cocoa. Be sure to attend, as we all know that we need the extra study session for our upcoming finals. Finals are next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. For the upcoming finals, here are some tips for studying. When it comes to your final tests, preparing yourself earlier rather than later will always be the best possible scenario. Instead of succumbing to the stress of the last weeks of the semester, here are four last minute strategies that can help you wage war on those high school finals. Plan a study schedule. If you already feel anxious and unprepared for your finals, take a deep breath. Set aside an hour or two to plan your remaining days and weeks. Ensure you review every subject thoroughly. This may seem like a tremendous undertaking when you're so short on time, but it can truly help you maximize your hours. Utilize diverse learning tools. If you are struggling to commit the necessary class content to memory, try a new tactic. Write a study guide that includes the items you know and the details you always forget. You might also consider creating an outline of the exam topics. Why? Writing information in your own words engages the parts of your mind that allow you to retain knowledge. This is just like teaching the content to yourself a second time, but it is not the only new technique that you can utilize. You can also tell yourself a story that includes the information or draw a picture. In short, any action that does not include reading someone else's words. Prioritize your time. This is often the most difficult aspect of reviewing for finals. What subjects or tests are most important? Is it your favorite course or the one with which you are especially struggling? Is there a project that will require more time to complete? You don't necessarily need to forego a football game or a choir practice so long as you schedule time for all of your commitments. This does not, however, mean that you can choose to watch all of your television shows if it limits your available study time. Set aside ample time for sleep. A well-rested brain works faster and more accurately than a tired and sluggish brain. By high school, this should not be novel news. You should not schedule an all-nighter to cram course content into your poor, tired mind. Sleeping, eating well, and otherwise taking care of yourself will ultimately help you work more efficiently. It can even help you perform better on your exams. A quick note about cramming that every student should take in. Information stays in your brain for far longer if you revisit it on multiple occasions. If you are interacting with course content for the first time the evening before your test, it is very unlikely to be at your fingertips during your exam the next day. When it comes to your final test, preparing yourself earlier rather than later will always be the best possible scenario. But if that time has already passed, do your best not to panic and instead make the best use of your remaining time instead. Good luck on your exams. UHS is hosting Senior Ball on February 18th from 7.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Central Park in Rancho Cucamonga. Here's a segment on Senior Ball. Hey seniors. Get ready for this year's Senior Ball. This year it's going to be at Central Park in Rancho Cucamonga from 7.30 to 11 p.m. Tickets are on sale for $35 at the student store. Get your soon and hope to see you there. This year's grad night will be held before graduation and will take place on Friday, May 19th. This is a senior only event. Tickets go on sale from January 18th through March 10th and are $155 each. They can be purchased at the student store or online at Upland High School website. There will be no refunds on tickets, so make sure to plan accordingly. Make sure to get your yearbooks for this year, as we will be adding videos to the pages. 
Yearbooks can be pre-ordered at the student store for $90. However, prices will rise to $100 if you choose to purchase later on within the school year. Now, here is Kaylee and Jeremy with an update on UHS Sports. Welcome back to USPN. We're your hosts, Kaylee and Jeremy. League has begun for our winter sports over the break. That's right. Our winter sports have been killing it lately. Our Highlander boys soccer team defeated the Damian Spartans 2-0 at home on January 6th. The boys basketball team suffered a tough loss against Damian in their first league game. They lost 70-35, to but we're sure to see them bounce back soon. Moving on to the Highlander girls, their league games were against St. Lucie's and our girls killed it. Our Highlander girls soccer team defeated St. Lucie's 4-0 away to kick off their season. The girls basketball team kicked off their season by also defeating St. Lucie's 69-20. Our girls water polo has a game on January 16th at 4.15 p.m. at Los Osos High. We wish you girls the best of luck. And finally, our co-ed wrestling team has the next league match on January 17th at home against Chino Hills. Congratulations to Mina Espinosa for placing fifth at the St. Richard Madrid Memorial Tournament. Another congratulations to Brandon Van Luan for placing fourth at the Amaral Invitational Tournament. Now, now back, back to, to Kareem and, and Ashley. Thank you, Kaylee and Jeremy, for the update on sports. Also, be sure to come out this Friday to support our boys and girls basketball games in the old gym. Congratulations, Highlander Scholars, on being 82 days smarter and better people because of our classified and certificated staff. Big shout out to all our seniors that have filled out the FAFSA. This week's lucky winners are Isaiah Williams and Kayla Anzaldo. Isaiah has won five graduation tickets and Kayla has won one senior ball ticket. Congratulations and make sure to fill out the FAFSA. Senior panoramic pictures will be tomorrow during U time. Seniors must check in with their period one teacher and then proceed directly to the old gym. Remember seniors, wear red for the picture. Good luck to all our sports playing Los Osos and Etiwanda this week as we continue our march towards the league championships. Thank you so much for watching, Highlanders. Have, Have a Highlander, Highlander day. day.